learn our enrollment and survey tagging facility. Bago tayo pumunta sa tagging, magkaroon muna tayo ng question and answer. Sino ang magpipil up ng Learner Enrollment and Survey Form or LESF? Ang sagot, kung sino ang gusto mag-enroll this coming school year 2020 to 2021 dahil ang mga tanong na sinasagot sa LESF ay anong grade level ka mag-enroll, saan school ka mag-enroll? Paano kung ayaw or hindi siya mag-enroll sa school year 2020 or 2021? Ang sagot, Siyempre, hindi dapat pilitin anumang informasyon ang ilalagay sa LESF ay dapat na may permis or consent ng magulang or guardian na ilagay sa LESF at LIS. Pwede namang i-follow up ulit sa magulang bagong August 24, 2020. Sino-sino ang mga dapat i-update ang LESF sa LIS-LESF facility? Ang sagot, lahat ng learners na may record of enrollment sa LIS for school year 2019 to 2020. Saan ire-record ang mga LESF ng incoming kinder, ALS, balik-aral, at transferis ng walang LIS enrollment record for school year 2019 to 2020? Ang sagot, highly recommended na gamitin ang electronic LESF dahil sa mayroon itong mga pinasimpleng features pero kung mayroong existing consolidation tool or program ang school at division, na para sa kanila ay mas madali, pwede nila itong gamitin. Ang importante ay accurate at mabilis makonsolidate ang mga LES at reports. Anong school year ang sinasabing previous advisor according sa DepEd Order No. 8 years of 2020? Ang sagot, lahat ng advisor noong school year 2019 to 2020. Sa ang document makikita ang master list ng mga naging learners ni previous advisor noong school year 2019 to 2020. Ang sagot dyan, School Form 1 or SF1 at makikita din sa LIS Master List. Sino-sino ang nasa School Form 1 or SF1 at LIS Master List? Ang sagot, lahat ng naging learners ni advisor kasama dito ang mga lumipat or transferred out or nag-drop out during school year 2019 to 2020 ay nasa Master List. Dahil kasama sa SF1 at LIS Master List ang mga nag-drop out, nag-enroll sa BOSY 2019-2020 pero hindi nagpatuloy sa pag-aaral bago ang EOSY 2019-2020, kailangan pa ba silang kontakin para alamin kung gusto ulit na mag-aaral sa school year 2020-2021? Ang sagot, dahil nasa SF1 at LIS Master List, maaari itong kontakin ng previous advisor. Tanungin kung gusto mag-aral ulit at kung sinabing yes or gusto, i-facilitate ang LESF at i-update ang LESF niya na nasa LIS Master List. Sino naman ang magpa-facilitate ng mga lumipat, transferred out bago matapos ang EOSY 2019 to 2020 na nasa SF1 at Master List ng originating school? Ang sagot dyan, ang nilipatang school or receiving school or kung saan natapos ng learner ang school year 2019 to 2020. Ang advisor sa school na yun na nilipatan or receiver, hindi ang advisor sa pinagmulan or originating school, ang pinatawag na previous advisor. Learner Enrollment and Survey Tagging Facility Reminders, this tagging facility is only available for learners who were previously encoded in the LIS for school year 2019-2020. For incoming grade 1 to grade 11 learners, the previous school advisor of school year 2019 to 2020 will be responsible for tagging learners in the system. For incoming grade 12, the previous system admin school year 2019 2020 will be responsible for tagging learners in the system. Procedure for tagging the learner. First, go to LIS website, lis.deped.gov.ph and log in using the LIS School Advisor account. Two, once log in, click the Learner Information System link. Three, click the Master List tab. Four, click the Select Item button. Five, click the LESF link. Six, Under the second drop-down list, click the Not Tag as LESF option. 7. 
Search the learner's name to be tagged. Under the option column, click the pencil icon. 8. Accomplish the following enrollments and survey questionnaires. A. In grade level and school information group box. For grade level to enroll, click the drop down list to select the grade level. For school information, type the school ID or school name in the text box. Please make sure to pick the correct school as there are schools with the same name. Note, for incoming grade 11 and 12 learners, the following additional information are required. For grade level to enroll, click the drop-down list to select the semester. For track, click the drop-down list to select the track. For strand, if any, click the drop-down list to select the strand based on the track selected. B. Inform learners with special education needs group box. 4. Do you have assistive technology devices available at home? Click the yes or no button. If the yes button is selected, please specify the assistive technology devices available at home in the text box. In father, mother, guardian group boxes, full name is automatically displayed based on the information encoded during enrollment in the system. For highest educational attainment, click the drop-down list to select from list. If others is selected, complete the please specify text box. For employment status, click the drop down list to select from the list. For working from home due to community quarantine, click the yes or no button. For contact numbers, input the contact numbers in the text box. In household capacity and access to distance learning group, for how does your child go to school, Tick all applicable check boxes. For how many household members, including the enrollee, are studying in school year 2020 to 2021, input the number of students for school year 2020 to 2021 in your household in the corresponding text box for grade level. For who among the household members can provide instructional support to the child's distance learning, tick all applicable check boxes. For what devices are available at home that learner can use for learning, tick all applicable check boxes. If the other's check box is selected, please specify in the text box provided. Do not use others for options that are already in the list. For do you have a way to connect to the internet? Click the yes or no radio button. If the yes radio button is selected, how do you connect to the internet will be displayed. Tick all applicable check boxes. For what distance learning modality or modalities do you prefer for your child? Tick all applicable check boxes. If other's check box is selected, please specify in the text box provided. Do not select others for options that are already in the list. For what are the challenges that may affect your child's learning through distance education? Tick all applicable check boxes. If the other's check box is selected, please specify in the text box provided. Do not select others for options that are already in the list. Tick the checkbox before I herbal certify that the above information given are true and correct to the best of my knowledge and I allow the Department of Education to use my child's details to create and or to update his or her learner profile in the learner information system. The information herein shall be treated as confidential in compliance with the Data Privacy Act of 2012. Click the Submit button to save the enrollment and survey tag for the selected learner. You may click the Back button to cancel the tagging. Note, a please complete the form notification message will be displayed for required fields not completed. A learner's LESF has been created, notification message will be displayed once successfully submitted. Learners will be listed under the tag as LESF. Procedure for updating the learner tag as LESF. 
So as for the learner's name to be updated under tag as LASL, under the option column, click the I edit icon. To update the field or fields to be changed, three repeat steps 9 and 10. Note, a learner's LASF has been updated. Notification message will be displayed once successfully updated. Thank mm -hmm. you.